Hi, I'm Roy from Drone School UK. This is my comparison video of the original Neo against the new Neo 2. The Neo 2 came out about two or three weeks ago and we've been doing extensive testing on it. And I'm going to show you the seven improvements on the Neo 2 compared to the original Neo. And what the, the, the Neo 2 has done, it's taken all of the good points about the Neo and, uh, and refine them and improve them. And the first major improvement, you can see it's slightly larger, but the first major improvement is this performs much, much better in the wind. And you'll see now how that works. The other major improvement is the gimbal. This was a, was a single way gimbal, it only turns up and down. The actual gimbal on the Neo 2 now is a two axial gimbal and it works a lot better than the original gimbal. The third improvement on this drone is collision avoidance. It has collision avoidance all the way around. It has fisheye sensors on the top, on the bottom and on the front. On the top and the rear, and you can see the fisheye lenses on the top at the rear and the bottom of the rear, that's the collision avoidance which gives you this 360 collision avoidance aided by this collision avoidance on the front. So the collision avoidance all the way around and the original Nia had no collision avoidance. And we'll see that working now. When you start to fly close to objects, the coloured bars appear on your screen. Orange is 5 to 2.2 metres away, and the red is less than 2.2 metres away. And when you get really close to things, it'll stop at about a metre away. You will also get an audible beep as you get closer to an object. So this is showing the proximity of the object behind us. And as we fly forward, it goes away and goes further away. As so I'm coming to the left now, you can see the object is showing up on the left. Another major improvement is the tracking. This had very basic tracking on it. It would follow you around front and back, but this has full tracking very similar to the larger and the more sophisticated drones and it'll track you all the way around 360 degree tracking and we'll see that operating now i'm now going to turn towards the buggy and i'm going to press the focus tracking enable button top left which is subject scanning so it puts a cross on me and then the menu that you see is active track spotlight and poi those are the three alternatives and we're in spotlight mode which is the default so you can see it's on spotlight mode in the middle I can move the drone away from me using the sticks, but in effect, the spotlight mode is like it always is, where it stays on me and focuses on me. We're now in point of interest, and I can now, which is circling me, I can send the POI into left or right. I'm gonna send it round to the right. I can change and vary the speed by the, the how far I pull the button to the right or to the left so it's about three quarter speed now but as i walk and i move you see i the actual point of interest is moving which is me and the point of interest diameter stays the same and moves with me and look at active track so i'll press on active track and as soon as i press on active track we get this circles to come round. And there's two circles, there's an inner circle and an outer circle. And you can change the distances and the height on both the inner circle and the outer circle. And you can move to the inner and outer circle or any position on that circle. If I click on the three lines on the settings, it shows me the inner and outer radius of the two circles. And it also shows the inner height and the outer height of the two circles as well and you can slide both of these to change them. And as soon as I move, it will should start to move. And I'm now going to select the left-hand side, inner circle. Let's try and pick up a little bit of speed now. And then as it picks up and starts to pick me up on the side, I'm going to press the outer circle now and let the drone pull away to a higher level 
on the second circle. And then I'll push my foot down a little bit more, turn to the right, and you can see that it's tracking me clearly and smoothly. And then we'll just come to a halt about there. It's all about your palm. If you can you put your palm towards the drone and that triggers the drone, you, you can see the blue light now on the front showing that it's picked me up. And then I can move the drone to the left or to the right using my palm. I could put my other palm up and do the same. And if I put two palms up together and pull them apart, the drone goes away from me. If I push them together, the drone comes towards me. Away, towards. And then to come out of gesture control, completely make your fist and pull your hands down. This is a view from behind the drone. And I'm gonna pull my hands up, which takes the drone up in the air. Pull the drone to the right, which pulls it to the right. But you've got to be very gentle with it. And let's go to the left. And let me pull it back up again. Now I'm going to pull it to my left. And then pull it back to the right. And then lift it up. And pull it back to the left. And use my other hand to go to the left. You've just got to be very gentle with the movement. As you can see here. Now if I put my hands together and then pull them apart, the drone goes backwards, push them together, the drone comes towards me. Push my hand up and the drone goes up, push them, pull my hand to the right, use my other hand to the right, pull my hand to the right again, and then pull my hands down together and that switches it off. Let's look at gesture control in spotlight mode now. So I'll walk away from it, come over here, and turn towards it and put my hand up and pull my hand upwards and the drone rises. I now walk around and the drone will follow me in spotlight mode. I now walk towards it, the camera turns down. I walk away. And if I put my hand up now, and then pull my hand down, that'll lower the drone. If I put my hands together and pull them apart, the drone's going away from me, put them back together, and it comes back in closer towards me. If I now go outwards again, with two hands, the drone will go away from me. And this is in spotlight mode. Put both hands down to switch off gesture control. The sixth improvement is storage. There was an internal storage on this drone of 22 um, gig. On this drone it's 49 gig, but it's an internal storage. So you've got at least twice as much storage on the new Neo 2 compared to the original Neo. When I press on this button on the right, it shows me the files stored on the internal storage. And you can see as we scroll down, I've got, I've got over 40 video files stored in the internal storage, which has taken up about seven gig of space, as you can see here. Also, the quick transfer rates from the Neo 2 to your phone are much quicker. And finally, the battery life on the new drone is longer. It's 19 minutes compared to 14 minutes on the original Neo. The two batteries are completely different. They are not compatible. The original Neo's battery was underneath the drone whereas the Neo 2 battery is put in on the top of the drone, as you can see here. And the chargers are different as well, as you can see clearly here. As a final comparison, take a look at this short spec sheet of the two drones. Hope that's been helpful. Happy flying. Bye for now.